Explorer, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to our channel. If you are joining us for the first time here at Explorer, we go beyond borders to bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information. Hopefully you found some time to have checked our previous videos. If you haven't done so, we would encourage you to do so. Today we are visiting the country Kenya. For those of you who don't know Kenya, by the end of this episode, you won't believe the information you will get with regards to this amazing African nation. So without any more delay, we shall just go straight into it. With regards to Kenya, most people think Kenya is just about safari. But again, it has some of the wonderful biodiversity the world could ever imagine. Of course, today we are looking at an overview to give you a clear picture so next time you plan visiting, you won't have anything to doubt about. With regards to Kenya, it's a country in East Africa bordering the Indian Ocean in the Southeast. Neighboring countries also would include countries like Ethiopia, Somalia, South Sudan, Tanzania, and Uganda. Understanding the size of this amazing African nation, Kenya has an area of just over 50, 580,000 kilometers square. The country is somewhat larger than metropolitan France, or if you want to go further, to slightly more than twice the size of the state of uh, Nevada. Kenya has a population of just over 52 million people. The country does speak different languages. Of course, the spoken languages are Swahili and also English. These are both official languages. And there are of, of course numerous indigenous languages, mainly Kikuyu and also Luya. The largest and most populous city and national capital of Kenya is Nairobi. Second largest city and also the country's chief port is called Mombasa. Take a step back with regards to Kenya. When you reference the, pres the president and liberation struggle icon of this amazing African country uh, called uh, uh, Kenyatta led Kenyans from independence until his death in 1978. When the second president, Daniel Toretish Arab Moy, took power in the constitutional succession, the country was a de facto one-party state from 1969 until 1982, when the ruling Kenyan African National Union, abbreviated as Kanu, made it serve the sole legal party in Kenya. Moy acceded to internal and external pressure for political liberalization in late 1991. With regards to how Kenya has transformed, for those of you who claim to understand a little bit more, Kenya claimed its independence from the UK in 1963. Leaders of the newly formed republic promoted a sense of national unity using the motto pronounced as Harambi, which is a Swahili word for pulling together. The sentiment holds true today in a country that blends the rich culture and traditions of dozens of varied groups that call it home. If you are new to Explorer, we would encourage you to subscribe and turn on the notification button so you never miss a video. Moving forward, most people who have researched Kenya will find that uh, some scientists even call it that uh, it's the East African nation is situated along the equator, the crumble of human of humankind. This is some way people describe it. Some of the oldest and most complete human remains have been found along the Great Rift Valley, a volcano line trench that runs through West Kenya. The country has actually emerged. There are different characteristics of this amazing African nation and its people. Most people do live in rural areas and more than half live below the poverty line. Agriculture is a heavily concentrated uh, effort in the country, uh, which includes exports like coffee and also tea. And tourism does drive a huge part of the Kenyan economy. Most visitors that go to Kenya, uh, except for those who go there for business and for other transactional purposes, uh, will hope to catch a glimpse of elephants, lions, giraffe and also more on a safari through more than 45 national parks and reserves that Kenyan holds today. The country has emerged. It has transformed over the years. It has some of the amazing attractions. Most international companies, 4 to 500 uh, companies from all over the world, have their headquarters in this amazing African nation. The country has moved forward to making sure it transforms its infrastructure in a whole lot of ways. But again, 
there are also lots of challenges as to the reason why the Kenyan government and its people are trying to put peace together. But Kenya's relatively young government struggled to provide the public service necessary to keep pace with this growth. Unemployment rates are among the world's highest and infrastructure is lacking. Political tensions in the country can sometimes lead to violence. Uh, in, recent, uh, in the past, more than a thousand Kenyans uh, died uh, in the displacements and also that was around 2007 in what was the general elections and that was contested. With regards to how the country has transformed in a whole of other ways, the country has been subjected to a number of uh, uh, international um, investors that has moved to also explore the Kenyan market. It does has its own threat. It has also subjected to a number of recent attacks uh, that were a couple of years ago um, from the Al-Shabaab militias uh, groups that has carried out a number of attacks uh, to pressure Kenya to withdraw its forces uh, from those neighboring countries in Somalia. Of course, Kenya also has put stance its grounds in different areas. Despite its challenges, Kenya is an attractive destination for also regional refugees looking to escape harsher conditions in neighboring countries. Kenya is a large Christian nation but has a sizable pop Muslim population, concentrated especially along the coast, along the coast of the country. The country has a rich oral traditions, songs, folk stories, and poetry are shy in the numerous indigenous languages, and Kenya regularly brings home medals from long-distance running events in the Olympic Games. Kenya is part to a number of international organizations, which includes uh, the United Nations, the African Union, and the International Monetary Forum. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. If you understand this amazing African nation, they don't have a varied climate. This varies from tropical uh, south and west and central regions to uh, arid and semi-arid in the north and also the northeast. It is an interesting uh, country. They have pulled together in strong in the agricultural part. Uh, the economy is being transformed gradually and there are little infrastructures that are showing faces. The country does business uh, with uh, countries like United States, uh, other African regional powers, China, and there are different investments. It does export partners would include Uganda, um, United States, Tanzania. Uh, it does dot business with the Netherlands and also with the UK. It does also import commodities, which includes machinery, transportation equipment, petroleum products, motor vehicles, and also different things that they do import. Import partners include China, India, and the United Arab Emirates, Japan, and different countries. The country's currency is called a Kenyan shilling. If you are new to Explorer, we will encourage you to smash this notification button and also subscribe uh, to our channel. Hopefully, we've been able to inform you with regards to Kenya. The next time you plan to visit Kenya, we don't understand that Kenya does have some, one of the amazing safaris and other uh, tourist destinations. Of course, it's always good to understand the basics about country and the people and that the country has emerged from where it was many years ago after independence as to how amazing it is today. If you feel that we've missed out something with regards to talking about this amazing African country, we would like to hear from you. But if you feel also that we've been spot on, we would also like you to give us a like and also uh, share our videos to your different network. For now, we want to thank you. We encourage you to subscribe and share our videos and we encourage you to watch our other episode on our platform. Thanks so much for watching the Explorer and have a good day. Bye-bye.